Dear students, welcome to this video on Solution to VTU Model Question Paper on the subject Introduction to Electronics Engineering. In the previous video, I have gone through this model question paper and discussed with respect to the syllabus is concerned how actually the questions will be appeared in each and every module. So let us get into module 1 questions and let's solve each and every questions from this module. The first question is on DC power supply. If you see the previous subject basic electronics and communication engineering question paper even this question is asked in the exam and also it is asked in the model question paper. So this question is very very important for the examination. So what is regulated power supply with need block diagram summarize the working of DC power supply also mention the principal components used in each block. Here first you need to write what is regulated power supply. Regulated power supply is that if you give an high voltage AC, finally we need to get a regulated DC voltage. Regulated DC voltage means it is a constant voltage we are supposed to get as an output. So that is regulated power supply. You need to write the definition first. That definition carries one marks. Then writing the block diagram and the principal components involved in these blocks there will be step down transformer then rectifier and smoothing or reservoir circuit and then a voltage regulator so this carries two more marks so there are two block diagrams you are supposed to write and then you need to briefly explain what this step down transformer is going to do it will step down the voltage from high voltage to low voltage ac then this low voltage ac will be given through the rectifier circuit here you can say there are different types of rectifiers we have any one of the kind of rectifier used over here and the output of the rectifier will be an unsmooth DC means the rectifier output will be containing again a pulsating signal. So we need to have a filter at the output of this. So filtered output will be called as smooth DC. Then it will be given to the voltage regulator. Why? Because even if there is small variation in this smooth DC that will be eliminated and regulated output will be given by the voltage regulator. Here Zener diode is used. This much you need to explain and each and every block you need to be explained in brief. This carries 6 marks. Coming to the next question, discuss the need of filter circuit with circuit diagram and waveform. Brief out the operation of smoothing filter for full wave rectifier. Here again the question consists of discuss the need of filter circuit first and then write the circuit diagram and waveform for the full wave rectifier. First you need to write what is the need of filter circuit. As I said in the previous topic itself here reservoir or smoothing filter is required why because the output of the rectifier is a unsmooth DC signal. To make it as smooth we need to have a filter over here that is what the answer for the first half of the question. Discuss the need of filter circuit means to remove the AC component from the output of the rectifier to produce a pure DC signal across the load we need to have a filter. So that answer carries one marks. Then you need to write the full wave rectifier circuit with capacitor filter and you can draw waveform. This is the AC signal. This is without capacitor filter and after applying a capacitor filter this will be the output. Like this if you write it is a clear cut indication that you know all the concept of rectifier and filter circuit like that with brief explanation add up with this diagram and waveform that carries 7 marks. With need diagram summarize the working principle of voltage divider bias for common emitter configuration amplifier with feedback. So this question is mainly focused on voltage divider bias applied to the common emitter amplifier circuit. So here you can explain how voltage divider is going to work first. This is the example for voltage divider rule. If you have VCC and there are two resistors connected over here like this. If you want to get an voltage divided output you need to measure across R1 or you can measure across R2. The output across R1 that is V1 is equal to R1 by R1 plus R2 into VCC or if you measure the voltage across R2 this is how you are going to get the voltage. This is the first thing we are supposed to write. Then comes the explanation for common emitter configuration of this amplifier circuit. Since it is an NPN transistor you can mention over here 
this is npn transistor we need to bias the transistor in such a way that minimum amount of vbe should be provided then only transistor will be on so you need to explain what is the functionality of r1 and r2 over here so that it fixes vb so for fixing vb we can write the expressions like this vb how we are going to get this and then comes how the current flowing through the transistor will be so we need to get the expression for ie and ic then comes voltage across the collector to emitter terminal that is vce since collector terminal is the output terminal we need to take the voltage at that terminal into account what are the parameters contributing for vce this carries seven marks here you need to explain the voltage divider and common emitter configuration and the biasing of this clear then the choice question you can answer 1 a b c completely or you can go with 2 a b c so here is the choice question that is 2 a this is a problem on voltage regulator circuit a 5 volts zener diode has a maximum rated power dissipation of 500 milliwatts if the diode is used in a simple regulator circuit to supply a regulated 5 volt to a load having a resistance of 500 ohm determine the suitable value of series resistor that is rs we need to find out so first we need to find out rs and they have given 9 volts as input voltage that is supply so v in is 9 volts and load resistor they have given it as 500 ohm and also they have given the power dissipation and also they have given the voltage of the zener diode here we need to use the two formulas of rs maximum and rs minimum why because they have given the power dissipation and they have given v in vz with those information we can find out the maximum and minimum value of rs after finding the maximum and minimum value we are going to get two values for rs so optimum value of rs will be in between rs minimum and rs maximum so this is the minimum value this is the maximum value in between these two we need to find one value that is the optimum value we can choose as rs that is what the question is i hope you already know what is rs maximum rs minimum expressions so after substituting we are going to get 250 ohm and 36 ohm so here if you add these two 250 ohm plus 36 ohm we are going to get 250 plus 36 is 286 so we are going to get 286 if you take the average of these two divided by 2 if we divide we are going to get 143 143 ohm is our rs you can write 143 as it is or you can nearly make it round off to 150 so we have given 150 ohm is the optimum value of rs we need to choose then the second question voltage multiplier what is voltage multiplier mention it applications they have asked first you need to explain what is voltage multiplier voltage multiplier is a circuit it is going to multiple the voltages like if you have voltage v1 we can make this twice of v1 the voltage we can obtain as twice of v1 we call it as voltage doubler we can multiply that voltage by 3 uh, that will be called as tripler so likewise you need to explain and say what is voltage the voltage multiplier this carries one marks and you need to explain where we are going to use this suppose if you want to get Three times, or four times the voltage, or five times the voltage. In those cases, we are going to use these voltage multiplier circuits, where we can increase the DC voltage with a multiplication factor like this. With circuit diagram, before brief out the operation of voltage tripler circuit. This is the voltage tripler circuit what we have in our textbook. So I have simplified this in this way so that it will be easy for the understanding. Diode D1, D2, D3 are placed like this. C1, C2, C3 are placed like this. So if you apply the Kirchhoff law here, you are going to get the voltage across C1 and C3 measured as 3 Vm. You need to take three iterations: this loop once, this loop once, and this loop once, so that you are going to get 3 Vm as the voltage across C1 to C3. So this you need to explain in voltage tripler circuit. Then illustrate how BJT is used as a switch. Here the question is on. bipolar junction transistor used as a switch so as we know bjt operates in three regions one is cut off region in cut off region bjt will be completely off it will be in saturation region in saturation region maximum current will flow in active region 
the transistor will be act as amplifier so while explaining bjt as switch we no need to go to active region of explanation off means it is in the cutoff region on means it will be in the saturation region so here you can explain the off state of bjt by showing an open switch here in between collector and emitter collector to emitter there is no current flow means it is off state where vbe will be zero means we are providing zero volt from the base here it will be like we will be having a tap like this where the controller will be base this is the base so this is emitter or collector or you can interchange these two when we are going to provide the voltage from the base then only there will be current flow in between collector to emitter that condition will be called as saturation region when base voltage is zero we are applying zero volt as the base voltage there is no vbe that's why there is no current flow in between emitter to collector or collector to emitter this is how we can explain the switching operation of bjt this carries six marks unit explains it is a it has a open switch and also it has a closed switch so that it will be split as 3 plus 3 marks for 6 marks so you can refer introduction to electronics engineering playlist basic electronics playlist and for the second and third modules you can refer digital electronics playlist also this is about the model question paper solution for module 1 questions in the next video let's see module 2 thank you